this compared to where, where you were last year at this time? Um, yeah, I didn't, obviously didn't know where I was going still last year. And so um, it was just, I remember about a year ago, I was still back at the dude just training. Um, still hoping I was going to get drafted. Um, so a lot of different stressors. And just lucky to be in the spot, lucky to be a part of an organization in general, especially an organization like this. So um, the offseason has been, it's been great. Um, and it would reflect on the privilege it is to, to play football here. What has the kind of participation been like in the building the last couple of weeks, just kind of people being around and being, being a presence here? Yeah, definitely people filtering back in. We had a good group uh, throughout the entire off season that, that stayed in Vegas and worked out, but then obviously guys coming back and new faces, old faces. So um, it's a lot different than college. You know, you're with your guys the whole off season really in college. And so um, it's been fun to see guys I haven't seen in a while, fun to, you know, uh, be with guys who, um, like I said, have been here. But overall, it's just, it's been a good experience. Aiden, uh, how, how much time did you take off after the season for rest, and how long have you been, you know, back at it in training? Yeah, I took uh, a couple weeks off um, right after the season to just kind of get away from football and rest my mind. Um, but I, I like to be doing stuff throughout the year, so even a couple weeks, I got a little stir crazy and was itching to get back. So um, basically, a couple weeks after the season, I was back in here working out and nothing too crazy. But um, just wanted to, you know, with, with this off season again, it's different for me. You kind of get to lay a foundation and. Worked from the end of January, early February to, to now and to continue now. Aiden, uh, going back to your days at Purdue, you had to compete for your job almost on a yearly basis. So that would be even during the season. Um, that seems to be the case, uh, obviously, going into the, the season. Is it something that you're used to and just this is how it is and just kind of deal with it? Yeah, I think, um, especially at this level, and I, I thought the same thing at Purdue, but especially at this level, there's going to be competition. I mean, it's the best of the best. And so, um, you know, the, the coaches and administration want to bring in the best players possible to try to make the team better. Um, and, you know, the best guys are going to play. And so I'm just trying to do my job. Um, you know, like you said, it's it's new at this level for me, but it's, it's nothing new in terms of the competition. It's been, even since high school, has been what I've been dealing with and, and working through. And so that's just part of the game. Um, it's not unique to any one position. That's how it is at every position. Obviously, only one quarterback plays, but um, it's, it's part of it. Does that make it easier for you that you've competed for so long? That it's just natural that you you know what's going to have to happen to make the, to be the guy. Yeah, I think I'm you know I'm definitely not used to just being the guy going into the season. So I definitely think it's, it's probably more foreign for that to happen um, just based on the years of me playing football since since high school. Um, it'd be more foreign to me be, being the unquestioned starter rather than competing. How do you compartmentalize all that? Aid? Just focusing on what you have to do and not listening to all the noise that's out there. Um, just don't read it. Um, don't look at it. Don't read it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely good to be naive. I think ignorance is definitely bliss, and that's, that's what I'm doing. Aiden, something that uh, Antonio Pierce said he wanted to see you do more of this season, be more vocal. Um, is that something that, uh, have you done that before at Purdue? Did you have that been in your character before? Is that something that you kind of are going to learn how to do at the next level? I, I think definitely it depends on your role. Um, and I, I, again, reflecting, definitely could have done a better job of that last season. And, you know, it's hard as a rookie. I was, my head was spinning. I was trying to figure, figure it out on the fly. And so there's aspects to playing quarterback more than just throwing the football and um, running the plays that are called. And so, um, yeah, that's definitely something I'm, I'm trying to develop and trying to be better at. Also just being myself, um, putting my best foot forward every day. But um, I think definitely leading by example is important. But as a quarterback, I know I have to be vocal. So there's a combination of things I'm, I'm definitely working on, like I said. And this offseason is a good time to reflect and work on those things. What has the conversation been like with the uh, new offensive coordinator, Luke Getzey? Yeah, it's been great. Um, Luke's been super open. It was great, obviously, today for the first time to get to hear him talk um, to the whole offense and uh, address us. And I think a guy who definitely loves football, you can tell the passion is there, um, the love for the game, the um, desire for us to be able to succeed on offense and do good things and implement a system that can hopefully help us. To the extent that you know that offense, um, uh, do you feel like it'll be drastic or subtle changes from, from what you did last year? I think, you know, there's similarities to, to every offense, but I definitely think it's it's a different offense. Um, there's, there's different, you know, really foundational um, ideologies that are um, instilled in what they want to do. And so from the ground up, I definitely think it's going to be a different approach to, to just how we see the game, what we're trying to accomplish. How much have you gotten to know Gardner and uh, what's that been like? Uh, it's been great. Obviously, I've heard stories about Gardner for, for a long time and been a big fan of his actually for a long time um, because of his story and how he got to where he was. And so obviously a guy that, again, just loves football, 
love being around the guys, and so um, it's been fun to, um, you know, get to grow that relationship. I think being in the quarterback room, it's super important to to have good guys around you. And I think I was super lucky with Jimmy and Brian last year to have two guys that supported me and helped me, and also um, were fun guys to be around. And I definitely definitely feel that with Gardner. Has he lived up to the the stories you've heard so far? And have you, have you had any uh, Gardner Minshew stories of your own yet? Um, not yet. It's still been a short time, so not yet. Asking it probably in just a couple of weeks. I'm sure. It didn't necessarily go the way that you wanted to, but uh, how much fun have you had enjoying March Madness's uh, run with your alma mater? Yeah, that was super enjoyable for me and my wife both. I think my wife is a bigger fan than I am, um, but yeah, we love watching our basketball team. They did an awesome job this year. Obviously, they had Zach, who's a great player, but a lot of great um, other players as well. And so it's fun to see those guys compete. And yeah, we were able to go to the Final Four last weekend, and that's a you know a memory we'll have forever. So um, yeah, super appreciative of them that they did a great job this year. You spoke a little bit about your reflections on last season, but just or you personally, what was your main takeaway from your experience as a rookie and how do you take that experience and move it forward and progress into this year? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a combination of things. That I think definitely that it's, it's difficult to play in this league um, and to have a coaching change and just, um, I think I, I was lucky, uh, obviously at the time it was hard, but lucky to go through a lot of craziness in my first year and so, um, obviously, the NFL is crazy, and um, things are going to happen. But I think definitely the um, all the changes that happened in the first year definitely are going to help me for the future. Um, and then just trying to be more grateful, trying to be uh, have more gratitude for the situation I'm in. Um, you know, I, I think I got a little too narrow-minded last year, and um, you know, just closed off and um, put too much pressure on myself at times. And rather than taking a step back and being grateful for the opportunity that I get, um, I wasn't really wasn't supposed to be here by any means to be in this position. And so to get the opportunity to compete and play is, is a privilege. It's been a little while since we've seen it. It looks like you've maybe gotten in the weight room a little bit. And if, is that the case? And was there anything in particular you wanted to work on for that? Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I just, you know, I've just been trying to, I, I think it's a, a never ending task, just trying to um, stay healthy, work on my nutrition. I'm setting up a nutrition plan with our um, dietitian Ricky and um, just really on, on all aspects trying to use the resources at, at my availability in the weight room our strength coaches do an awesome job uh, in the training room dietitian mental health coach, like everything that's at my fingertips I want to definitely uh, try to use to try to be the best overall athlete I can be. Aiden can you talk a little bit about the importance of Andre Drains and how much he helps you? Yeah Dre is awesome uh, super laid back guy but when you get on the field he's super intense and wants to win and he did an awesome job for us last year. Obviously, was rewarded um, for what he did, and we're happy he's here. And um, just a guy, I think, if you were to ask the other guys, they love to be around. Um, super funny guy. Um, that's uh, yeah, just a, a fun person to have in the huddle in the locker room. And then he was obviously we had we had um, our jobs were pretty interconnected last year, handling out a lot of protection in the, and in the run game. And so he helped me out a bunch. You know, took stuff off my plate um, and tried to help me as much as he could. And, uh, definitely. Another guy your job gets kind of interconnected with in the backfield was uh, Zamir White, and he had such a big uh, end of the season. What? Uh, how excited are you him now? Are you for him now? It looks like he's going to have uh, probably even more opportunities this year. Yeah, I think Z the whole, really the whole year from the preseason on, we were super excited about. Um, we definitely knew he could be a great player. Obviously, uh, we're going to miss JJ because JJ was an awesome player, an awesome guy. But um, Zamir, obviously, especially the the Christmas Day game against the Chiefs, took advantage of his opportunities. Um, He's a, a soft-spoken guy, but man, works his butt off. Um, you know, does things the right way, the hard way. Um, and it'll it'll be super exciting to see what he can do this year with the full off season. Uh, definitely ahead of steam and momentum. All right, thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank you.